F you, Phil. Now, that's not coming from me. That's coming from Rory McIlroy, some leaked footage from the up-and-coming Netflix series Full Swing. I can't wait to dive into that. But first, you need to get up to date with everything that's happened, DP World Tour, Live Golf Saudi International, and the PJ Tour. So, let's start with DP World Tour, and what a dramatic finish by Daniel Gavins. What a second win on tour for him, but he didn't do it the easy way. So, he managed to shoot a minus three, 69, to take the Raz Al Khaimah Championship. But, oh, when I say you had heart flutters watching this, you seriously did. So, on the last hole, this is one of the hardest holes, and I actually vouch for this. I have caddied at this tournament. There is water right down the right inside of this golf course. His first tee shot found the water. Provisional ball found the middle of the fairway. It's so much easier second time round, right? Okay, now the second shot is a toughie. It's a long approach shot, and you're going in with a fairway wood if you want to go for the green in two. His next shot now finds the water. So he's now hit the ball in the water twice. Finally ends up on the green, and he holds a 40-foot putt to post 17 under in the clubhouse. He's now got a nervous weight, but he managed to hold on for his second career victory, and that is a lovely start to this season. Definitely opening a few doors for him this year, and potentially already a spot for the Open, which is always nice to secure early doors, right? Okay, Saudi International, this is the lived supported event. So this is where Live Golf were running an Asian tour event. Abraham Anser manages to go wire to wire and the first Mexican since 1995 to do so. He holds off Cameron Young by two shots. In the final round, they both shot 68 for Abraham Anser to win by two, but bogeys at the 8th, the 13th and a double at the 15th meant Young finished up short, even though he finished with a closing two birdies. A big event, a well-received event, and apparently... A well-run event. First Mexican in 1995. I always think it's hard to go wire to wire. I always think if I was ever going to play, which I'm probably not and will never, um, I think I'd fancy myself coming from behind final round to win. Now, we're getting for a Monday finish this week on the PJ Tour at the AT&T Pebble Beach Invitational because of some terrible wind and rain. Now, for the first time in a very long time, Justin Rose is actually up there. And I really hope he can get this finished. Stick around and keep your eyes on the rest of the channel on the community page. I'll update you when you need to know. But one of the biggest stories from the week in this is ex-footballer, which sounds strange, Gareth Bale. It used to be Golf Wales Madrid. It's now just Golf Wales. Um, and he's apparently can play some serious golf. You must have seen this chip shot off the path. Some serious skills from the ex-footballer. But now, the time. The Netflix drama. What do we need to know? So, in a recent sneaky little clip, Rory McIlroy is shown mocking Phil Mickelson and Patrick Reed. Now, I'm going to say one thing right now. Apparently, Rory and his team were very sceptical on joining in on the Full Swing documentary. I think from what we can read here as one of the statements from the people who have basically commissioned this, um, I basically persuaded him, and it went along the lines of the quote was, I saw him down in the summer. We told him we needed a voice. There was no guarantee we could do this again, and people won't hear him until 2024 at the earliest. Now's the time. World golf needs his voice. So Rory, to his credit, actually was like, yeah, I'm in. But this is where the story unfolds. So, let's cast our mind back to week last week, where Rory took down Reed in a massive showdown. The controversy with Reed cheating. Absolutely everything was going off. But the whole nux of this is the live slash PGA Tour DP World Tour debate. So, let's start off with the first piece here, the juicy piece between Rory and Reed. A journalist reportedly informed McElroy that the former Masters champion Reed was playing an Asian tour event. Rory's response to this, ah, beautiful. He'll drop down the world rankings. Little bit of a dig there. Now, what do you think about that? I actually think that Rory has definitely been painted as the saint in this whole thing, whereas 
He's definitely one that's reciprocating a bit of needle here in the media eye as well. So this whole thing has been put in the final episode of the Full Swing documentary, which is basically golf's answer to F1 Drive to Survive, showing you a behind-the-scenes, never-seen-before look into tour life. Now, nothing has to be nicey-nicey, and actually, it probably makes better watching it actually having a little bit of needle. So the final episode is named Everything Has Led to This. So the juicy bit. Later in the physio room, McCoy is reportedly told that Buffalo Bills quarterback Josh Allen is a massive PJ Tour fan. McElroy then says in response to this, yeah, but he's a Phil Mickelson fan, so I don't know. When another voice comes in the background and says, sounds like he's losing his credibility, McElroy laughs and chimes, F you, Phil, I hope that makes it in. Basically implying that he hopes it makes it into the full swing documentary. Now, this just rivals this whole thing up even more. And I feel like in the golf world, we have never, ever had this rivalry before. Yes, we had Tiger Phil battling against each other. Probably didn't like each other. Tiger VJ. But this seriously is dividing opinion. Players are falling out. Former friends, Garcia and McElroy aren't really friends. Former friends in the media, Mickelson and TV presenters are no longer friends. This debate continues. What do you think? Was Rory right to say that or was he wrong? I, for one, cannot wait for this full swing Netflix series to start. I am going to be hooked. That is all you need to know. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and get involved in all these debates. Turn the bell on because you never know when news is going to drop.